Hey there, productive people. How's it going? My name is Carter Sirach, also known as the productive dude here on YouTube. And in today's video, I'm showing you recurring tasks in Notion. This is something that took them a little while to add, but it's finally here. So I wanted to share it with you guys so you can implement it in your workspaces. As I said, this will be a really quick video, really actionable. So stick around and learn about recurring tasks. All right, so jumping right into my computer, I have a blank Notion page here, and I'm just going to turn it into a table database. We're going to hit new database and I'm going to call it recurring tasks. We're going to add an icon here. I'm going to use this repeater one and we'll name the table table view. Now I'm going to name the name column task. And we're going to add in a uh, checkbox property. Now this isn't necessary, but I'm just showing you guys for the sake of uh, the example on how to do this. Uh, for a task list in particular. So I'm going to delete these uh, pages out of here and we're just going to start with a blank table. Now what you're going to want to do is when you're ready to create your recurring task, you should have at least a checkbox in your task list and a, and a name for your task. But you're going to click up on this blue button on this drop down here. You're going to hit new template and we're going to name our task. You can also add a property here for created time if you wanna see this on a calendar. So I'm gonna do that. And we're just gonna name this water the plants. Now I'm gonna close out of that template and click on these three dots up here. And now we have this new repeat button. So I'm going to click on that. I'm gonna set it to every week. Let's say we want it to happen on Friday at 12.28 p.m. And yeah, basically from there, I'm just gonna hit save. Now you can change this, right now it's on repeat weekly. You can change this to daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly, and you can change your settings. It's pretty straightforward and simple for doing that. And then just make sure you hit save. Let's also go ahead and uh, edit this template and add in a nice little icon, like a leaf or something for the plant. Let's go with the tree. All right, water the plants. So now if we wait until 1228, we should see the task automatically populate without me doing anything. So let's just cut to that right now. All right, and it's 1228, boom. We get the water the plants. Uh, task jumping right in here. And then if I wanted to, I could also add a calendar view. So let's just hit the plus button up there, go to calendar. And now we can even see this on our calendar. I can add in a property of done. And that way, if I wanted to check this off, I could. And if you want it to disappear when you check it off, just go to filter, done, and is unchecked and now it will disappear when you check something off you can do the same with your table over here filter done unchecked and from there your tasks will disappear as you check them off so this has been how to create recurring tasks in notion i hope this video helped you out i hope you were able to implement this into your database i'm sure i'll have more videos in the future showing off this feature as for today, if you want to learn more about Notion, check out this playlist right here. And don't forget to subscribe for more Notion updates. All right, have a good one.